So you've all heard the adage, sell in May and go away. Uh, market's a little bit toppy right now, so we're going to find out if that's the case this year. So stick with me. My name is Brian Cannon. Welcome to Markets in Five. So bear with me as I jump into a couple of different charts today, but essentially I wanted to uh, show everyone just an update on the put call ratio as you can see this level is climbing back up uh, which is just uh, maybe an early warning sign to be a little cautious we are seeing a negative divergence here in the s p 500 we, we've a negative divergence has been forming for a while should i say um, the rsi level is dropping yet the price of the uh, s p has been rising so we are just now today uh, which is you know wednesday breaking through the the 50 day uh, the 50 percent mark here on the rsi so that's a little concerning um, so that's a pretty good warning sign now we've got uh certainly in the blue line here uh, a major support there that we're watching very closely and i'll go into historical um, major supports that were broken and the net effect of that over time uh, but we also have drawn here several um, uh, minor support levels, ones that, uh, you know, uh, is just kind of medium term, short term chatter. Uh, but we still use those to raise a little bit of cash and just be a little bit cautious on some of our investments. Uh, because again, we, you know, you can't really ever time the top. This is not a market timing system, uh, but it's more of using the technical analysis to kind of, you know, decide, uh, is 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 the risk worth uh the reward or or not and uh so we've broken through several of these minor support levels here lately and uh and there's a pretty good support level we're hit we're, we're, get, we're hitting today that we want to be very cautious of so if we can hold that and bounce back up then i think it's a buying opportunity if we can't hold this this level of support right here uh, then there's a pretty good chance we're going to drop back down here and test this major support uh, territory here. Uh, and if we hold that, then that would be an, a buying opportunity. However, if that gets breached to the downside, then then uh, it's time to, to go ahead and, and uh, run for the hills. The RSI, I'm sorry, the MACD is, uh, is also dropping, and then we're getting a negative reading on the ADX. In looking at the longer-term S&P chart, uh, you can see other major support lines throughout history that we've drawn that essentially once those get broken, then, uh, you know, you, you really don't want to have a lot of risk in the market. You'd rather be a little bit protective. So again, uh, back here in uh, the end of uh, 2019, we had that 20% drop before the end of the year uh, and that major support line was taken out. Uh, then we had another little 8% drop here, another little drop here. Uh, and then we had last year's pandemic drop, which uh, from peak to trough went down 35%. Uh, so again, once these support levels get taken out, there's just not a lot of uh, reason to stay in, you know, fully invested in the market. You just got to be a little bit careful. And then here we had a 10% earlier this year. So it's been a while since we've had any meaningful pullbacks. So we're really due. So the question is, will this blue line hold? Will this major support line hold? or will it be time to, uh, um, to have another major pull down that we really need to be uh, going into protection mode for. Now the last chart I wanted to go through with you as well is, uh, again, we, we watched the relationship between the, the high yield investments and the S&P 500. So when high yield begins to outperform on a relative basis, the S&P 500, uh, then that typically goes hand in hand with a pull down in the market. So uh, as you can see, historically, uh, again, going back to, to 18, there was a little pull down, 19, uh, um, how you began to outperform right before that, uh, as that pull down happened at the end of 19, and then certainly in 20, uh, 20 with the pandemic, uh, you can kind of see the support line was taken out and then also the high yield started to outperform. So, uh, so here we are now, um, you can kind of see it lipping up right here. So it's not a major concern yet, but if that's, if that's a resistance line that gets, uh, gets poked to the upside and continues to run, 
um, then it's pretty much a good sign to, to that, uh, again, correlates with everything else to say, you know, it's just not worth the risk right now. Let's, let's sit on the sidelines. So as you can see, there's a lot of things out there that are starting to add up, starting to tell the story. Again, it's very, very early. We would not recommend going to cash at this point for the entire portfolio, but parts and pieces, it might make sense. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. I say, I, instead of kind of going at it with a, you know, a hatchet, we're going at it with more like a scalpel, just kind of shaving things here and there. But uh, selling man go away, who knows? But uh, the key is just to make sure that you've got a strategy in, in, in place to be able to handle uh, downside volatility. So if you have any questions or we can be of assistance in any way, by all means, give me a shout. My name is Brian Cannon, and we'll see you on the next Markets in 5.